Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. So let's talk about the let's talk about the numbers uh, towards the end of the day. Nothing earth-shattering one way or another. Um, you had a pretty flat day across the board. Uh, all the indexes taking you know very very modest uh, losses on the day. Again, you, you can't even say the word modest without even chuckling. The market's been on an absolute tear, especially uh, the Qs. Uh, ever since they reclaimed the 50-day moving average. Uh, the morning uh, was very, very aggressive. We'll get to the p individual pivots uh, in a second, but, but this is good. I mean, this is exactly what you want. The last thing you want or need, especially if you're a bull, is one of these, you know, one of these intervals that the NASDAQ goes up 150 points every single day, because what's gonna wind up happening, all those people are talking about the market's overbought, market's overbought, eventually it will get overbought, and you don't want that. You want the, the slow, lethargic build, you know, you have, Three days of upside, one day down, one day sideways, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, because that's the slow grind. That's exactly what you need. If, if you get one of those situations, then the NASDAQ is up 100 points every day, every day, every day. Even the biggest bulls in the world will turn around and be like, ah, this is too far, too fast. I'm good, okay, I'm good. And if, and if people who are not participating on the long side say they're good, the biggest perma, bear, per, per, bear, biggest perma bulls in the world turn around and go, this is too far, too fast then you're going to have an aggressive back test. We don't want that. We want that or, or we want that organic res day. We want the moves to be very exaggerated to the upside and then kind of drift down, uh, upside down. Uh, the one thing the market continues to do is discount bad news. Again, that's the, the, the most aggressive bullish statement you could possibly have. Again, last week, uh, the two biggest ones were Microsoft, right? You know, you had Microsoft, uh, you know, guided pretty much crappy numbers. Uh, you know, missed the top, missed the bottom line, big rally. Google did exactly the same thing, not as big as rally as Microsoft, but still you can see a move from Google from 104 all the way up to nearly 116. And today was no different. You had Pinterest, right? You had Pinterest come out. Um, my wife loves Pinterest. If you guys don't know, Pinterest is like one of these sites it's great for like decorators and stuff like that to get ideas for your house and stuff. So my wife is constantly uh, on that site. Really, really cool site. Again, I don't know anything about the business model, but the point is, you know, they didn't exactly paint a rosy uh, guidance, uh, rosy, well, not a guidance, but, but a rosy financial outlook. And the stock is up 20% after the close. And that's, again, that is uh, the most important part is when you're talking about bull market, bull market, and getting clues of what a bull market looks like. This is it, right? This is absolutely it right here. This is Microsoft, this is Google, this is Pinterest. Uh, even, you know, even the, 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 the DREC, right? The DREC of the world, Roku, right? Roku, you know, Roku had a big snapback day today. Granted, it was down 25% on Friday, but the point is that they're taking back even the garbage names, even Meta, was up, you know, a lot today at a certain point before it gave up. So yeah, we'll, we'll look. We're getting really, really good bull market action. It, you know, is this getting a little bit, a little bit tiring? Okay, you can make that case, right? A little bit tired, but again, it doesn't mean the market is a short. It means that hey, don't get long at the top of the range. Or if you if you are trading stocks that look very, very good, watch for the option flow. Like again, we talked about in the video over the weekend update, right? You know, you, you look for the stocks that are coming deep, deep, tight into the range, right? In the video we talked about over the weekend, Square, right? We talked about Square over the weekend. We talked about, uh, what was it, what was the other one? Um, Airbnb, right? We talked about Airbnb. Look for charts like this, you know, super duper tight charts in case they do fail, right? You know, it's, it's really not a big deal. But if again, if you look at some of the names, you know, getting a little tired. Again, I, I, I personally think, it would be a lot healthier if we can rest the next two days uh, on the indexes. I mean, again, look if you look at the Qs, you know, you, you can see here, you know, big, big run, especially from the lows from four days ago. You, you had a run literally from 293 uh, all the way to 319. That's a big, big run. I think it needs a couple of days just to rest. Will it? God knows. Who knows? But I think it needs it. Even a name like Amazon, uh, even a name like Amazon had a you know, really strong quarter. Uh, had a, a big, big run, right? Really, really big run. And, you know, kind of just faded. It kind of faded off the top of the supply here that it hit back to back days. Uh, even Tesla. What, I mean, what are you going to say, right? What possibly are you going to turn around and say, oh, man, te you know, Tesla, Tesla's not bearish. 
It just needs a couple of days worth of rest. And you can see here today, it kind of, the last time, and again, this is where we talk about repetition, right? The last time Tesla put in an inverted hammer, right? You see the, the, you see the same thing, right? Inverted hammer here, inverted hammer today, right? The last time Tesla put in an inverted hammer, it had a couple of days of back test and obviously exploded. Well, we had an inverted hammer today as well. Again, does that mean this is the top for Tesla? We're, we, you know, we're talking about Tesla's going to the 500 tomorrow? No, it's just, again, it needs a rest. The stock, the stock just in the last four days, right? In the last four days has gone from 776 to 935. It just needs a rest. I Ideally, and again, I'm going to watch this thing for the next couple of days for a possible backside move just to get some flow, right? Just to get a little bit of flow uh, to the downside. But ultimately, what we'd want to see for the next couple of days, you know, is kind of drift a little bit lower. And you see this rising five day, right? This is kind of where we want to get long the next time around. Again, no, anybody who's buying it up here, man, what are you doing? The stock has been, the stock has gone up 150 points in the last four days. Like, why do you need to be long today, right? You had your opportunities here and here and the earnings high and the earnings high continuation. Like, what are you doing up here, right? It's going to a thousand. It's not going to a thousand tomorrow. So yeah, I think that's basically what it is. I think a lot of the stocks do look tired even the names you know even the names that had really good earnings like etsy it hasn't even put in its second run yet right and that's the whole point you know a lot of these names are just kind of taking their time and that's good the longer they continue to build uh, especially the index is above the 50-day moving average of course you're going to be buy biased but certain days you're going to turn around and be like, eh, I don't know how, how good the aggression is going to be. Again, maybe we get surprised tomorrow, right? Maybe something that we set an alert for three weeks from, you know, three weeks ago kind of wakes up. But I, I wouldn't be surprised, okay, if we had kind of a lethargic day tomorrow. Um, you know, I think there's some pretty decent value out there, especially again, like if Tesla starts kind of a back test, obviously there's a lot of room to the downside. Again, no harm, no alarm, just, you know, just looking for a channel trade. Uh, just to get a little flow but there are some names if you look for uh tomorrow's session you know there's some value right like look at a name like workday a lot of people are not going to really pay attention to a workday but again look at the, look how tight this range is right all it's doing is getting rejected off the supply if workday could just get above the supply who knows maybe this this thing could wake up uh square that broke out today right it's first close above the supply maybe it has a follow-through day so again th that's kind of the charts that i'm watching for tomorrow let me give you guys a couple more let me give you guys a couple more on the, on the long side that look interesting. Um, Shopify had a, a whole bunch of $40 calls coming in for today. I still think it might be a day or two away, but just in case, again, same similarities, right? If you see, if you see last time the stock tra traded right into this daily supply, right? The next day confirmed, you know, you know, had a four or $5 run. Well, you know, I'm kind of watching the same channel here. Maybe Shopify wakes up tomorrow. Uh, and puts in a repeat performance. I don't know. Again, I, I don't have a lot of enthusiasm uh, tomorrow. Uh, either way, the only only one I'm looking for a back test tomorrow is is Tesla. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. But again, Tesla needs to breathe. I, th I think we're all in agreement for Tesla to run, you know, to a thousand, to eleven hundred, to fifteen thousand, whatever the hell, or the moon, right? Whatever comes first, it needs a little bit of a back test first. Again, kind of case in point. Last time Tesla rested, right? It was rested for three days reclaimed the five-day moving average and went. Here's the inverted hammer, here's the inverted hammer. So do we get a second performance uh, of that inver inverted hammer like we saw the first time? Right, we'll see, right, we'll see. But we're prepared, we're obviously prepared uh, on both sides. So let's talk about the pivots today. Uh, very aggressive early day. Again, the video is definitely our focal point. Um, they were coming for really aggressive calls today. They were coming for the 85 weeklies, the 87 and a half weeklies, the 190 weeklies. And again, here's here's the, the move, beautiful move, right to 89. Uh, 82 and a half, 183 needs a new base for continuation from Friday's break. Here was NVIDIA. This was the only one that you really, really needed today. Really nice move today, perfect move, right? So here's the 82, 80, 82 and a half, 83, traded right to supply, just a little bit shy of 189. Just a, just a phenomenal move, really, really good move, especially it's very aggressive. Uh, Google were waiting for that 1675 new base to confirm. Uh, Google traded up to 6, 1672 today, so still watching that. Um, I was watching Meta to the downside, obviously never got there, it exploded back up. Uh, Airbnb, nice move today, 111.16 needs a new base for continuation from Friday's break. We're getting reports tomorrow. Not only does uh, Airbnb report tomorrow, uh, you got some big ones on tap, right? You got tomorrow, let's see here, you got tomorrow. Today's not really a lot. Pinterest, you got ATVI. Tomorrow, you got AMD, you got PayPal, you got Starbucks, Uber, 
uh, Gilead, uh, Airbnb, Caterpillar, uh, Occidental Petroleum, Sarepta. So you got some pretty decent names to t for tomorrow's session. Uh, but Airbnb, nice move here. Uh, 1116 needs to build. I thought it could get to 1350. It got to 14. Nice move there. Amazon and Apple, we talked about this on the weekend update. Again, red to green moves on both of them were pretty strong. Amazon ran up about $2. And again, it doesn't sound like a lot, but keep this in mind, it's it's, it's post splits. So the $2, it's like the equivalent of 40. So again, it's so liquid right now. You could take some pretty good liquidity on there as well. Apple did the same thing, both to the upside. Uh, Square, 76.44 needs to build. Again, we covered that on the weekend video, I believe. If not, I apologize, but anyway. Uh, here's a 76.44, traded all the way up to 79. Listen, this thing gets above 79 and starts building. I think it has more upside. Uh, snow, again, another one. 150 needs to build on snow. Here was snow. Again, you had a lot of really strong movers in the morning. Uh, here's the 150, went to almost 154. Uh, I got to check when earnings are. Again, take on the way up on Amazon, take on the way up. 137.40 uh, is supply, traded to like 30, 38, 39. Uh, Square, 78.30, supply went to 79. Uh, Snow, 152 on deck, went almost 154. And that's about it. So that's it, you know, that's it. I, listen, not every single day you need this, this massive, massive game plan. You know, sometimes you need, it's like a bottle of wine, right? You ever hear that expression? You, you kind of let need to uh, have the wine breathe, right? You, you need the market to breathe a little bit. Listen, is it possible we, we continue this move uh, to the upside, yeah, of course it's possible. Again, the longer we stay above the 50-day moving average, the higher probability every single day will go higher, and the probability that more shorts will get trapped into weakness. But again, at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm not naive. I understand that uh, number one, gravity is real, and the last thing you want to do is keep on pushing and pushing and pushing. And next thing they know, they they take out the bids, and you're sitting on your tush and sit and trying to figure out uh, what the license plate of the truck. Uh, that just hit you. So that's it. That's kind of the game plan going into tomorrow. Uh, you know, we're watching Tesla. You know, there's two sides that I'm watching, but I'm, you know, I want to see if it could, if it could, if, if it could kind of gas out tomorrow and put in, put in a lower high. Just again, just for a trade to the downside. Again, doesn't necessarily even have to be for tomorrow. But again, at some point, gravity does kick in, uh, and a backside move uh, does come. So we'll see. We'll see if we could pay if we could pay attention to it and see if we could identify a channel back to the downside. So that's it, guys. Got have a great. Uh, great, great evening tomorrow, guys. Have a great uh, trading session tomorrow. I'll see you on tomorrow's video. And with God's help, we'll all be there together. Take care, guys. Have a great, great night.